Hello and welcome to another video on the Mantis Q40. Today we're going to take a look at some of the basic editing features in the editor, such as creating, saving, and other basic things. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we uh, get too far into this, I think it's important to know what the editor actually is. And the editor is what I would call like a scratch pad application in that it doesn't have any advanced formatting or functions such as spell check or being able to center or justify or anything like that. It's, it's very, very basic. There's uh, virtually no formatting ability in it at all. That makes it um, not such a hot idea for your, maybe your dissertation or a, a big project, but it's great for writing things down, like taking notes in class where spelling really doesn't matter, or doing a short assignment where you can uh, either look and, and check for spelling on your own or uh, things like that, or grocery lists, all that good stuff. So it's, it's a very useful thing to have, but we also need to understand what it's for and what the limitations look like. So the other thing you need to know is that file types that you can open with the editor are DOX, DOC, txt, brf, and brl files. But if you save any of those, make any edits and changes and save it, they will save as a txt file. There is nothing you can do to change that. So that's important to know. So when you open the editor, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead. I didn't turn the unit on yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hold in my power button for like two seconds wait for it to vibrate slightly, and it's gonna say uh, starting on the screen with a cute little circular, um, <laughs> circular little uh, braille cell here. And what do you know, that didn't take too long. So here now it says editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it by pressing a cursor routing key. And I have some options here. The first option is to create a file. If I use my next thumb key, I can open a file. Next thumb key is editor settings. And the next item is close. So, and if I hit um, next again, of course, I'm gonna end up back on create. So let's go ahead and create a menu or <laughs> create a file here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the cursor routing key. And what I'm going to get is again with these brackets. So we've seen this in other products. We've seen it in the chameleon. Um, if you've seen those videos, but with, there are like two small uh, brackets and in the middle is like a cursor. So I'm going to just, um, we'll go through some of these other features first before we start typing in our files, but it's important to know what, them, what they are. So another thing I could do if I wanted to create a file, a new file from here, I could do it in a couple of other ways. I could do an alt control N from within the editor anywhere to create a new file. Um, what I can also do is I can go to the t uh, context menu and we'll we'll talk about what the context menu is here, here in a second. So if you add text here, it's pretty easy. I'm going to just type, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Okay, and that's all I need to write for this first little bit. Um, when we look at what, how we need to navigate this screen, and now what I have showing on my Braille display is um, to the United States of America. Um, I'm going to use those two inner thumb keys to navigate this display, and it goes back and forth by a 40 cell of a full 40 cells. So now it just says I pledge allegiance and I must have um, done something because I know um, that the next uh, thing isn't, um, is, is it didn't fill up the whole uh, 40 cells, but that we're not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, what I can show you is a little bit of the basics in the editing. So, you probably noticed that a lot of the things on this, because, and we've, I think we've talked about this, is that a lot of the commands on this will mimic your Windows commands. And very many people are familiar with those. And that kind of helps things out a little bit. 
So if you want to, you can go to the top of the file or you can navigate um, character by character using your arrow keys, or you could also use a uh, um, press your cursor routed key. So I see, well now that I see that I'm at the beginning of this file again, it's filling up this braille display. So it must have been a little hiccup. But it says, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United. Uh-oh, I forgot to capitalize United. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the cursor routing key above that. And it's going to let me know that I'm editing it by giving me a, uh, a cursor. So remember, I can't just add a dot six here because this is not a... Uh, this is not that kind of an input. So I'm going to do a delete and I'm going to type capital N here. And now I'm going to move my cursor away just to make sure that that took. And it did indeed. So I am golden here. So that is how you would, would do a very minor editing thing, but it, that's like not a huge deal right now. So we talked about what you can do as far as using the cursor routing keys and things like that. You have to give yourself some time to get used to this method. It takes a lot of practice to navigate and to use this method of interacting with your chameleon, or I'm sorry, your mantis because I'm apparently still in the chameleon world, but it takes a little, a minute to, to get used to editing with this. Um, just because of the, the 40 cell display, the fact that it's, it doesn't speak to you, which, um, which some students might be more familiar with because they've had a note taker and because it's, um, it's just a new device. It's very unusual to have a braille display with a QWERTY keyboard. And it's it's kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but it's it's new. Um, as an FYI, the feature to have um, a synthesized uh, text will be coming in a future update. It's just not here yet. So, and we'll cover that when it gets here. So anyway, so we're just going to, if we wanted to save this file, what how would you do it in Windows? Control S, right? So if we do a control S here, it saves the file. If you want to save as, it's control shift S. So control S to save, control shift S to save as. Why would you save as? Well, you want, might want to save a copy of the file somewhere else on an SD card that you've inserted, for example or on an, a thumb drive, or even in a different folder because you want it somewhere else because you've made significant changes, um, something like that, anything like that. So I'm gonna, again, do a control S. So then I'm gonna hit enter and it says saved. Uh, the other thing we're gonna look at is the context menu, which we've mentioned briefly. The context menu allows you access to the same menu commands are the same commands you would use if you could remember the key combinations, but sometimes they slip our minds. It happens to all of us. So if I do a control M as in Mickey, uh, it's going to show me a file menu. And if I do, do a next thumb key, it's going to show me an editing thumb uh, menu. And and then if I do another one, it'll do. It'll tell me that if I hit enter here, it'll close out this context menu. I'm going to navigate to the file menu and I'm gonna go ahead and open it with an enter or a cursor routing key, either one will work. And what's nice about this menu is if you forget the command to create a file, for example, uh, you can open this context menu and it will tell you that command. It says right here, um, create file and it gives me control. So after control create N. file is open and then all of those other options in there as well. We're not gonna go through the whole context menu just because it's going to have some things in there that maybe you don't uh, encounter yet as part of our program. 
um, and we'll kind of look at those a little later. But so we have all sorts of different options as far as that goes. You can go into the editor menu, all of that stuff. And to get out of the menus, obviously, if you just hit escape, that'll take you out. And um, back into your file. So here we go. So that does it for this video. Um, just the basics of the editor. We're going to do another video on maybe some more advanced features of the editor. So please feel free to come back and take a look for that one. Until then, have a great day.